everyone welcome back to my channel my name is monica today's video is actually going to be a shop miss a haul if you're not familiar with shop miss a um they sell a lot of beauty products for a dollar um and then some products are like ten dollars some usually i've seen that like eyeshadow palettes or like brush sets are about that price but all the rest of the makeup is really affordable and i've actually done another video last year or in the past um with like a full face of shop miss a makeup so i will definitely link that down below um but before we get started don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it so the first thing that i got is this aoa finished pressed powder and it is a banana powder but they also had other colors like for your skin tone i like to put as like a foundation like a powder you know um but i got this one because i wanted to try it out and i'll go ahead and um just swatch it it feels really soft and so here it is i'm not gonna put it on my face but yeah oh i just put it right here oh you can't even see it yes okay cool so that's that the next product is also this aoa perfect pressed highlight and this is in the color lavish and it's also let me see like a gold color which i really like because i i i already swatched it but can you see it yeah okay let me swatch on my finger so the, it's right here and oh man let me swatch over here you guys might not be able to see it on the camera because it's like right here i swatched it but you guys can kind of see it so i feel like it i feel like you could build it up if you wanted to you know blind everybody or if you just want to have like more of a subtle highlight i think you can definitely do that and then i also got the, these little eyeshadows right here they're really cute and this one is glittery and this one is obviously not glittery but let me open it up and show you guys okay so can you guys see that it's so pretty Okay, let me swatch it a little bit right here. Oh my god, there's so many sparkles everywhere. Okay, but you can see that, right? It's so pretty and glittery. And you could see like the... Like the purple and stuff when you move it around. So, I really, really like this. I don't normally use um, glitter on my eyes, but I was like, why not? And then let me try this the yellow one so here it is and then let me swatch it right here yeah it's gonna be kind of hard to see i think i swatched it. oh right there you guys can kind of see it it's yellow i think once you put it on if you wet your brush or put a little bit of setting spray it'll definitely be more vibrant on the eyes you can also probably use it in the inner tear ducts of your eye and it'll look you know pop it next thing that i got is this foundation from the brand amuse and it's in the color five that's what it said i wanted to get a different color but they had ran out so instead i got this one and i think it's actually going to be too dark well maybe not hopefully not i'm gonna try it out like i said or i don't know if i did say but i'm gonna be recording another video with like a full face of this makeup um so we'll see okay and then i also got a primer which my sister thinks that i'm obsessed with primers because she says i have like 50 of them but it's this one right here and it says clean slate is lightweight and melts right into your skin leaving it silky smooth while extending makeup wear um and let's so it does have like a yellowish color i guess let's see here let me put some on here close it back up so it's right here but it it feels kind of like a moisturizer which is pretty nice and yeah i mean it makes your skin feel soft so i'm gonna have to try it out uh, i got this beauty blender so i have a bunch that i had just ordered on amazon but i also really like this one it's really soft and once you wet it it's very like bouncy um, and it's only a dollar 55 like i said those 55 cents get donated to like a charity um and you can see that on their website too which is cool but yeah so i got the pink one they also have a black one i think and 
like a nude colored one and then they have some other styles like those microfiber i think that's what it's called microfiber um beauty blenders too so yeah these are these are good okay the next thing that i got is this eyeshadow palette right here the colors are really pretty but i really like this one i like the oranges and blue because it was my favorite color um so i thought they were really pretty and they do i think let me see let me see oh, okay i mean this one's not the blue one's not too pigment like it it's pigmented but i'll have to see how it looks on the eyes let me swatch this one i mean they feel creamy this one is the this white one right here so i mean they do look really pretty um hopefully they look just as pretty on the face the next thing that i got is this mascara which i've actually previously purchased already and i really really liked it um i like more of the brushes that are plastic so i really like this one um, it's not gonna probably focus because but you guys i'm sure can see the bristles at least a little bit so i like it because i feel like it separates the eyelashes more um and not a lot of product comes out because i hate when a lot of product comes out and then your eyelashes get all clumpy so there's that and now that we're on the topic of eyelashes i actually got one pair just because i have so many other eyelashes but i wanted to try these out they are 3d faux mink right here they're also a dollar 55 and they're in the style vanessa so the only thing and i don't really have a problem with it but i know some people do is that the band is a little bit more on the thicker side so sometimes i know that that could be a little bit more difficult um when you're putting them on or you know like they won't stick because the band is too thick but i haven't really had any problems uh with that so and then of course you can't forget about the glue and this is from AOA also. Most of the products I think that I got are from AOA. Uh, but yeah, it's a super glue. It's $1.88, but still pretty affordable. Um, and also, I really like this glue. I also have purchased this before. Um, and for me, honestly, I feel like it works just as good as the Ardell or the Duo one. And it's a lot cheaper, so definitely get it. I got this cream eyeshadow right here. It's this orange one. Because I wanted to do a orange eyeshadow look. <laughs> so I'm just going to squeeze it out right here. Just like a little bit because... Oh my god, that's, that's bright. Okay. So I don't know how you guys can see it. It's right here. It's pretty bright. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's pretty. Um, and they have other colors. I think I saw they had like a blue one. They had a purple one. They also had like kind of like a silverish color and like a yellowish goldish one so they definitely have a lot of different um, i think there's about 10 different color variations so uh the other item that i got is this lip pencil by or lip liner uh by la colors in the color cappuccino so i don't know if you guys can see and also So I don't know if you guys can see, it's this one right here. So it's brown, but I still like it. I have a lot of brown lip liners. But yeah, I like it because it doesn't have like a pink undertone. Uh, and then I also got this LA Color Pout Lip Gloss and it's matte. And this is in the color Enticing. And this does have a more of a pink undertone. Or swatch anymore okay oh it smells pretty good okay so it's this one right here this pinkish one which i really like it kind of actually reminds me of like the nyx one i think it's i don't know if it's sandstorm or the other one there's like two but one has more of a pink undertone no me acuerdo cuál es, but yeah, it reminds me of that one. Okay, cool. And then I also got this setting spray right here. It says setting spray locks in makeup, lightweight matte finish. So right here, and should I spray it on my face? I'll spray it on my face. Oh, let's. Okay. <sighs> 
smells pretty good. It smells like rose water, kind of. Maybe that is the... It doesn't say, I feel like on the website it said though, but it does cut, smell like rose water. Um, and then the mist, it's it's not like super, super fine, but it's not like those other setting sprays that like, you know, like a bunch of water, just like, you know, you have like a big old drop of water on your face. Like it's definitely not like that. So um, this is my first time getting it, but it smells good. And I, I like how it sprays, if that makes sense. Like it's not too fine the mist but it's also not like you know so we'll, we'll see though okay so that is it for, in terms of like makeup related products um they also sell stickers they had some other cool ones um i just got this one to put on my water bottle this middle finger um and then i also got this mental health matters one you know i work in mental health or behavioral health well like re yeah, mental health um so you know even though we're taking care of other people's mental health, we also need to take care of our own. Um, and then I got two lip products, which is this Jelly Jam Lip Mask. And this is in the scent, flavor, cherry. Even though this doesn't look like a cherry. This looks more purple. So yeah, I mean, this is a sleeping mask. So you put it on it. It doesn't really smell like anything, but... Maybe, maybe once I have it on at night. Um, yeah, so you just put it on at night and then in the morning, your lips are supposed to feel a lot smoother and softer. And then I also got this uh, lip sugar scrub right here. And this one is in watermelon. So let's try it out. It, it's like the same color as this, um, which makes no sense, but it's, it's whatever. Can you guys see it's right here and I mean it feels it feels good it has like the little crystals like you know for the like obviously obviously it's gonna have like little crystals it's a lip scrub but they're pretty fine um so I don't feel like they'll be hurting your lips I guess if that makes sense because I feel like I've tried other ones and the crystals are like too big so they're kind of rough and it just doesn't feel good on your lips um that one feels cool and i also i mean i also have those little the little lip scrubber brush thing um which i did mention in my uh amazon video so i'll i'll also make sure to link that down below so next we're gonna move on to the hair care products that i purchased which is only two things it's this anti-frizz premium hair oil right here it says it's made in new york um and it has natural 99 percent natural it moisturizes overly dry hair and smooths frizz and flyaways so i'm looking forward to using this because i always have those little flyaway hairs everywhere right now you guys can't see them because i put hairspray but and then I also got just this like hair mask. It says six in one cleanser, adds shine, volumizes, cleanses, detangles, anti-frizz, and conditions. So they had a bunch of other ones. They had like some tea tree oil ones, some like avocado, argan oil, a bunch of different ones. So I mean, I'm hoping it, it'll work. I'll let, I'll let you guys know. Okay, the last five products are skincare related or actually, yeah skincare products so the first is this coconut water complex it's a cleansing water right here and it does come in this packaging all the other products as well um but they also have or sell um little spray bottles and then like little containers kind, kind of like this where you can put uh you know because they have like lotions and stuff like that um but yeah like if you want to buy like two or three of these and then just put them in a little spray bottle you can you can buy the spray bottle like i said on their website or you know just go to the dollar store or walmart or whatever so that's that and then i had ordered a toner but i'm guessing they didn't have it because they sent me two of the same product um, and it's this Sika Calming Complex Gel Moisturizer, which is supposed to hydrate, soothe, and even out the complexion while calming the skin. So I want to say that Sika, I don't know what it is exactly, but 
I think it's also called tiger grass and it does help with like redness, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a dermatologist, so please don't quote me. Um, but I do have the Sika, the Dr. Jart Sika Repair um, Color Correcting Treatment. I think that's what it's called. Um, so I know it does have the Sika. So I'm excited to use this as well. It's a gel moisturizer, which I'm not really a big fan of, but I'm hoping that I will be a fan of this. So and then the last two things is this salic salicylic acid tea tree face mask right here uh, which is supposed to help pour with pore care and balance oils and then the last one is this i can never say this niacinamide niacinamide two percent plus sika seven calming complex controls oil and brightens while soothing your skin so they had a bunch of other sheet masks as well other brands so yeah that's all that i have today guys i hope that you enjoyed this video oh my god i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a lot of different things i'm gonna make sure to link everything down below um if you have any questions or if you've tried some products from there i would love to know what products you've tried so that i can try them out myself um other than that that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time